Hey, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Uh, Zion, just wanted to get your thoughts on you know, Brandon's game and especially Brandon kind of taking over in that uh, in that fourth quarter for you guys. Is there like a lag? Did you find her? No, I was like, I'm saying like with the camera. Uh, a little bit, yeah. All right, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> I think it was very big for us, and we needed that. Uh, that really put us over the top, and that helped us get the win. What's up, what's up Zion? This is Will Gillard with The Athletic. Um, third straight game for you with a double-double. Just how important uh, is it for you going into this season to make an impact on the board, especially on the defensive end, even on nights when you're not getting 25, 30 points? You know, I think that's a, <clears throat> that's a big part of, you know, build, building winning culture. When one thing isn't working for you, don't let it affect the other parts of your game, like defense and rebounding. So whatever I can do to help my team win, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Zion, Christian Clark with Mellow.com. This was the second time in three games you kept an opponent under 100 points. Um, why do you guys think you, um, I guess, played so well in defensive end tonight? What was working? Um, we were a lot, <coughs> sorry. We were a lot better communicating tonight on defense. And because of that communication, um, it let us get a lot of stops. But then at the same time, you got to understand the Spurs, uh, you know, they don't settle for shots. They uh, always try to find the best shot each time down the court. So, you know, that can also play a factor into it. And just a quick follow-up here. I mean, we, we talked to Stan uh, after that shoot around today. He said, you know, that was a big emphasis. Was that kind of your read on it after coming off the heat game where you guys gave up a bunch in the second quarter of just, you know, we need, we need to talk a little bit more? Yeah, that was, a, that was something we really talked about and discussed as a team. And it's like I said after that game, like, this is our job. Like, we can't choose not to talk. Like, we have to talk. Like, we want to build a winning culture. We're going to have to communicate on defense. Hey, Zion Scott Kushner with NOLA.com. Uh, Stan mentioned, you know, it's good to win a game when you guys shot really badly. Uh, you know, obviously the, the opener, you guys made a bunch of three-pointers. It was enough to win. Uh, but this is a type of win that he feels is more sustainable. Do you agree with that kind of assessment? What does that sort of mean for your confidence about this team? moving forward. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <clears throat> Just the ability to win a game when you guys did not shoot the ball particularly well. Um, is that more sustainable? Does that give you more confidence kind of going forward? Um, it's one of those things that, uh, if you know uh, Stan, man, he loves that. Uh, because that shows that we're making improvements as a team when you know shots aren't falling for us the way we want them to, but you know, like I said, we're building winning culture, and we got to – if one thing's not working, that don't mean we stop doing everything else. You still have other parts of the game to keep working at. So, you know, the team performed very well on defense and communication, and, you know, if we want to be a great team, we got to be great even when nights aren't going really going well for us. Brett, you can go ahead. Thanks, sorry. Uh, hey, Zion. Um, interested in what you were thinking as you saw the 15-point lead in the third quarter kind of dwindle on a long run by the Spurs to where they were leading by a bit. And then, of course, you guys were really challenged to put it together down the stretch. Uh, I mean, it's something that I learned last year in my rookie year. Uh, this is the NBA. Uh, it's a 24-second shot clock. Like, unless you have, like, a giant, giant lead, uh, you know, 20 point leads are almost like seven to 10 point leads. Like, they can, you know, be vanquished within two minutes. And you could be down 15 one second or up 15. And next thing you know, two minutes, three minutes later, it's a tie game because everybody's so good. Hey, Zion, this is Ollie with the Bird Rights. I know, obviously, this was a very good defensive uh, night for the, as a team. But can you remember the last time you specifically got five steals in a game? Oh, uh, man. <clears throat> five steals? I want to say maybe in college or if not college, in high school for sure. So it's been a while. It's, it's been a while. All right, we're all good. Thanks, Zion. No problem. You guys have a great night.